right guys let's get this baby unboxed see what we got Still got plastic on. I'm not gonna take it off yet. I believe I can use the other parts from the other grill and snap them right in here. That's just my guess. So I'll have to take the take the other grill off and see if I can snap these off and put them back on this one. Same goes with a bow tie. So let's pop the hood and take the old grill off. All right guys, so I thought I could put these on the HD grill. I was totally wrong that's like one whole piece but I'm still gonna take this one off and install the HD to see how it looks and I think um, I'm have to look up eBay see if I can get those inserts but anyhow I'm still gonna take these off like I said you got a flat flat screwdriver put it underneath there pop it up and then just pull it back out oops just like that just pull that back all right guys so let me put the new grill on Alright guys, so I was having a little hard trouble putting that in, but this uh, new grill has those, those clips already in, so I gotta take the old ones out, and that'll go right in. That goes for all of them. Alright, except, no, not, I thought this one was the same, but that one's good. So you can see right here, there's the old one. There's the new one already installed. So I'm going to take those out and then push that in. What do you guys think? That looks pretty good. I just got to buy these. It's covers. For both sides and the bow tie. Alright guys, I'm going to close the hood. See how it looks. And that's not the HD hood either. Still the original. Yeah. 
see the difference here at the gap. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it on there. I don't think it's gonna harm anything. And I'll just order these on eBay and the bow tie. All right, guys, in order to remove this hood, I gotta remove this bolt right here. It's a 13 millimeter. And there's another one in the back. It's way back over here, and you can see it. In order to get to that back one, you got this this cover right here that's just clipped in. So you gotta pull. Let me see if I can get it clear. There we go. All right. So all you do is pull up. Like that. Just one clip right here, and there's two more in the back. Yeah, that came out easy. There you go, you got three clips. There's one right there, and then the other. And then you'll be able to get to these, these bolts right here. They're 13 millimeters. Same thing goes to the passenger side. And your bolts back there, 13 millimeter. And then there's another one down at the bottom. All right, guys, and this uh, last bolt right here is a 10 millimeter. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse so you guys don't get bored. So you can see I got the hood on But the lines ain't lining up This one's sticking out A little bit I don't know if you can tell It's not too bad All those lines look real good Until You get to this To the driver's side I don't know if you guys can tell You see this Gap right here when I was installing the hood, the bracket over here was maybe like an inch off. So I'm guessing the bracket's bent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the hood off and take the brackets out of the, my old hood and install them back on this one and see how the cap lines up. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. Let's get started.
so I got it lined up as good as I could do it. It's looking real good. Lines look straight. And I got these in the mail. So I took another, I'm gonna say, I think four days when I first started recording. I just didn't wanna make my videos real short. So I waited for the parts to come in. I even got my bow tie in. I'm gonna get that unboxed here in a little bit. All right, I'm starting with this small package. I believe this is a Chevy bow tie. So the uh, Chevy bow tie came with this little with the bolts, and you gotta reassemble it in the back. Uh, this nut right here is a 10 millimeter. Comes with washers. It looks like you gotta put these back here like that. Just like that. Alright guys, so I decided to put a uh, double sided tape, 3M, on this corner of these sides right here. Just to give it more reinforcement so it doesn't you know, fly off or clean that with alcohol. So, I just want to make sure it's not going to fly off or anything. It looked like it snapped in. I did the same thing with the other side. Did it on this one too. All right guys, all the parts are installed. My front HD grill is complete. You guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Slowly, it's gonna start looking good, but soon I'll find a, a bed for it. I ain't worried about it, but the front is looking good. Can't wait to get some headlights too. And also, if you guys are uh, trying to get these parts too, I'll put the link in the description for the grill, the side inserts, and the bow tie. I'll put all the rest of the parts back together.
gonna see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe